Well, hey there, welcome to the weekend. Hope you're doing great. Hope everything is going well for you. Um, if you didn't catch the lives today, there is a live at noon that is on the YouTube channel. And there is also a live that I did for the members of the channel, uh, which is a, um, a smaller subset of the um, subscribers. And um, you can find that on um, the members area of this channel. So if you'd like to see that, what I did in that one is the September forecast, all Zodiacs. So if you're looking for that, just hit that join button and you'll be able to access it, okay? And you'll be able to access all the previous lives I've been doing uh, on the channel for the members. Okay, so hey, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Hope things are good for you. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and share if you like the content I create. Today, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading um, for the weekend. It's really, well, not really for the weekend. It's, it's about messages to you from spirit. What do I need to know right now? What's going on with my situation? What messages can you share with me? And so your job, uh, I'm going to use this deck, uh, the Denise Lynn uh, Sacred Journey deck, uh, for all the readings. But this is group A, the, um, this deck over here, group B, and group C. So choose whatever feels right for you as I'm shuffling here. I do want to share with you, there's a lot going on today in terms of um, aspects. And what I mean by that, I'll share with you. Uh, let's see, I wrote a little note to myself. Moon square Venus today, moon square Jupiter. Sun is moving into Virgo. Moon square Pluto, PS, all y'all. And moon opposition Mars. So this might be um, this might be a little bit of a difficult, um, let's say challenging, not difficult, challenging, uh, in terms of what your heart wants, and love and luck and taking action and things like that. It's a it's a really good day to sit and meditate about um, what you're creating, what you're manifesting in the world instead of taking action on it. Today might be not a really super duper day to take action, but what it does feel like to me is that all of these squares and oppositions um, give you a time for reflection, okay? So let's always think about what, how we can be in our highest vibration, even if we feel like, um, I had a friend describe it to me like a bumper car, right? I'm just, <laughs> I'm going this way and bam, I get thrown back. I'm going this way and bam, I get thrown back. And like, what can I do? What can I do? So there is a lot you can do that is related to your health and well-being, that is related to your connection to spirit, you know, improving that. And, you know, whenever you see this, this is, a, this is really a timeless reading. That's why I said it's not really for the weekend. But that, the, the, moon, uh, the moon square Venus, moon square Jupiter, moon square Pluto, moon opposition Mars is for Friday the 21st. And uh, the sun moving into Virgo is going to give us a desire for detail, a desire to handle things one thing at a time. And that's kind of great energy. It's not like, woo, I'm seeing the big picture and I can't take any action, right? It's not that. Um, it is something that's a little bit more um, focused on how to get things done. Okay, how to get things done. I know I'm not in the picture right now, but that's okay. <laughs> I just needed a water. I just got a water. I put them in the freezer and good Lord, that's going to be bad. Okay. If they explode. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Group A, group B, and group C. Have you been able to feel your way into which one? Um, you and I work together on these kinds of readings. What is it that will be most important to you message from spirit so kind of connect to your guide a little bit connect to your higher self let your eyes go soft a little bit and just let yourself what speaks to you um, I have a fluorite wand here that's really beautiful fluorite and then rose quartz and then selenite here these have all been sitting in the window during the new moon and releasing energy to the to the stars releasing energy to the universe okay so i feel like you have chosen so i'm going to move group b and group c over here for a second until i go down that road whoopsie come on back here thank you 
All right, so let's look at group A, and I'm gonna pull a couple cards here. Group A, please, messages for group A. Messages for anyone who's chosen group A. So some of you could have chosen this group, and I do feel because all of these squares and all of these opposi this opposition, I do maybe feel like some resistance to messaging today, but we'll see. Protected by angels, staying focused, right? Staying focused, that's a big part of this. First light, beginning a new cycle. So um, again, this is more about an internal action rather than a taking physical action today. Keep your eyes on the prize, okay? Keep your eyes on what you're wanting to create, what you're wanting to do. I'm gonna do the you and another person reading. I'm gonna do that, okay? And uh, for those of you that there is no other person or you're not um, necessarily uh, resonating with this being another person, it can be uh, internally two things about yourself that you're integrating, okay? So whichever this is for, whatever, if it's just for you, if it's just your own message to yourself, spirit is, is bringing that. If it's about another person, then that will resonate for you, okay? So let's see here. So group A, let's see, one card for you, please. Lovers, Gemini energy. One card for the other. Strength. Wow. Wow. That is incredible information. Okay. That is incredible. Basically what this is saying to me is you've made a path. You've chosen a path. You've chosen something to do. You've chosen to go down a road. There's somebody here who is um, also uh, on this path, who is enlightened and has overcome a lot of internal battles, okay? This can also be you, you integrating with yourself in a much stronger way. Wow, the third <laughs> chariot, the third major arcana card. So when I get three, three out of three, right? Three for three here. Um, that tells me that this is a major life-changing experience that we're talking about here in this connection. The chariot is about wanting to move forward with this connection. Ooh. Okay. Into commitment. Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, and Leo. I would look at those in the extended version of this reading. Okay. How you're seeing the relationship. Virgo, ah, uh, five for five, five for five. How you're seeing the relationship is the other person is not coming forward or the other person is too uh, internally focused. How the other person is seeing this, four swords. You're damn right, you're damn right, okay? So if this is another person, they are definitely focused on their own healing, okay? Um, if this is you, you could have a struggle of wanting an external thing like a relationship or a you know being in your successful self being you know doing what you've been wanting to do and the internal nature of what needs to happen okay there's a struggle here and that's the square that's the opposition okay there's a struggle here about um i want to do something out in the world i want to do i want to move forward on this thing or take action on this thing or this relationship but what's holding me back is there's more work, more internal work to be done. So message from higher self. Son, oh my, are you freaking kidding me? This is, inc <laughs> this is incredible. The universe is saying to you, shining your light. We talked about that the other day in the morning message. Higher self, Knight of Pentacles. So this side of you, okay, if this is a feminine and masculine, the masculine side here feels to me like um, there's a lot of healing to be done. This person, the part of you is overcoming some difficult 
uh, situations, there's still more to be done. If this is another person, I feel like I see Virgo energy here too. Uh, I feel like this person is um, getting stronger. Okay, they're getting stronger, but there's no movement here. Okay, there's no no action externally. It's all internal. You know, getting your bearings, getting solid. Um, you know, doing what you need to do. I feel like you are a leader, a guide for this person in some way. They're inspired by you in some way. All right, subconsciously for you. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. All right, that's a really interesting read. So first of all, um, as Gemini energy here, being informed by the sun, this is really, look at the angels and guides. This is protected by the angels. This is that part of you. It's like you do know consciously that you are being protected, that you are making choices that are on your path. Okay, that's a message to you right now. If you're worried that you're getting somehow off your path because you're feeling restricted, because you're feeling like you're not able to move, the universe is saying to you, no, nope, you're still on your path. It's just the energy that's required right now is internal and not external. Okay? So it can feel a little bit like, I don't know, spinning your wheels. Okay? It can feel a little bit like that. Because this is opposite energy, Taurus and Cancer. Taurus is very much a an anchored, you know, sort of stay in one place. And Chariot wants to move forward. So it's like driving with a parking brake on here. Okay? That's what's going on. And if you're feeling that, boy, you're really feeling into this energy here of those, of those um, expressions right now. I will say it again. Moon square Venus, moon square Jupiter. Sun moving into Virgo, Moon square Pluto, and Moon opposition Mars. So if this is another person, um, while they have overcome certain things, okay, this is the over, both overcoming cards. They have overcome um, past hurts. Uh, they have overcome something really big in their life. It could have to do with their own financial stability. It could have to do with their own just stability in general. And the Leo energy here, I like the Leo energy of I'm moving into the warmth, into the sun. I'm moving into that energy of being positive and even if I feel stuck or stopped, right? Even if I'm feeling this very, you know, driving with the parking brake on, I feel like you, the core of you here on the feminine side, may not like that the driving with the parking brake on metaphor may not like that feeling because I need to be active. I need to be doing something. The masculine part of you, which is normally the action part of you is seeing the wisdom. Okay. You are actually both of you or this, the internal core of you is seeing the wisdom in the non external action right now. It's for healing purposes. I'm surprised the star didn't come up. It'll probably come up in the extended here. So for, for the feminine side of you, um, what's subconscious here is a give and take, a wanting a more balanced give and take with this person, if this is another person. And subconsciously for you, if this is just your internal state, then you're wanting more give and take with the internal and the external you. you. I'm cool with being internal as long as my external can move right? As long as I can take action outside, I'm fine having no, having this moment of healing. The masculine, uh, is much more at home with this right now. Much more at ease with the stopped nature of things. Even though there is a desire between the two of you, if this is two people, desire to move forward, there's an awareness that healing and um, getting your act together internally, connecting to your higher self in a, in a more productive way or a more consistent way is really what's necessary. Tr uh, uh, Taurus here is all about consistency. 
I feel like this masculine or this masculine side of you has, this is a new thing that you have overcome something and are now in like a new place. Okay. Which is what the beginning a new cycle part is. And I feel this connection, if this is two people is beginning a new cycle. So by standing in place, it's just like, I want the new cycle to begin. Why isn't the new cycle beginning? Why can't I move forward? Why is that happening? So there's a lot of that um, resistance happening, okay? And it's about, I feel, I feel like this is very much a release and letting go. Releasing, the universe is saying to you, release and let go to the stand still healing nature of what's happening here. Allow, all right, allow 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 this to be where it is right now allow it because more resistance is just going to give you more of it there's no point in that okay there's no point in that all right so i'm going to continue with this reading we'll see where we go i will look at got a lot here virgo gemini cancer leo yes taurus virgo gemini cancer leo taurus we'll look at those if you're dealing with anybody of those signs for Ray. Um, we'll look at that. We'll look at that uh, in the extended. The link is below to keep coming with me if you want to see the rest of this reading. Otherwise, Group B is up next. All right, Group B, you are up. Let's see what's going on for you. I will look at any of the zodiac signs that show up. I'll say them so you know which ones are going to be featured in the extended reading for this Group B reading <laughs> all right let's see what we go here <sighs> messages to you from spirit chosen group b messages to those watching all right let's see where we go here fogged in aha uh -huh. protected by angels hello hello great adventure take a risk and venture forward. So um, right now, this is seemingly a theme today that um, there can be a lot of inertia or um, a purposeful, purposeful inaction. Uh, for you guys, what is ahead for you is about a massively uh, powerful shift in your life. The direction of your life it, it's going to take a turn whoop okay I thought I was going in this direction and it's almost like you're when you're fogged in if you keep moving you can sort of bump into things okay uh, but you are having some good uh, protection by the angels so it's just about moving slowly or it can be about stopping it can be about resting right now Taking a rest, because big things are ahead here. Big things. Well, let's explore that. What's going on with that? So I'm going to do the the um, a different kind of spread here. And keep in mind, it can be you, both two sides of you or two parts of you that are being integrated, or it can be you and another person. Okay, just keep that in mind. So, okay, <laughs> here we are. This is you, King of Swords and Four of Cups. They jumped out together, so I'll take that. Um, this is about getting really clear on what you're looking for, what you're wanting to create and not feeling all that good with the options right now. You can also be too focused on the past, too focused on a past person. Okay. And other fool. Okay. So there is somebody on the path to come toward you. Look, they're actively sort of walking toward you. This is a brand new person. So some of you are really focused on the past, a past person, um, and it's getting you fogged in. It's getting you stuck. All right. It's time to move on from that. This is what the relationship is about. Yes. Movement, Knight of Wands, fun, sexy, interesting, um, joyful, exuberant, feeling like a teenager again. That's what's coming in. King of Swords is kind of crusty and kind of like uh, curmudgeonly a little bit, like doesn't 
uh, jaded is the word I'm looking for. How you're looking at this relationship. Page of Swords. So you could be seeing this person online. You could be, uh, this is a brand new person. Like I said, you could be talking with them online and that gives you this really beautiful, um, usually I like it when it goes from page to king, but I'm kind of happy going from king to page right now. This is about having a little youthful um, excitement about something, about another person or something that's happening in your life. Right now I see Sag and I see Aquarius. Let's see about the other person. Magician. Wow. This person is single, okay? Has all the tools they need. Is very, um, I'm going to say that you're going to say this person is magical or this person is very, um, like a breath of fresh air. Take a risk. Um, this person is the one taking a risk, I believe. It's asking you to take a risk, too. If you've been wanting a person from the past, you're going to have to let that go in order to embrace this new adventure. Woo! Okay, yes. Let Okay, this jumped out in reverse. So this is about letting go of all this past nonsense, this past um, baggage, and just it's got to just be completely... This is a cord cutting too, like letting, really letting go of it. It's not even part of you anymore. Like you learned your lesson, you've integrated the lesson. Do not tell these stories again. Okay, when this person shows up, don't tell your old stories. Don't, don't bitch about your ex. Don't do that kind of stuff. All right, because this is a brand new day. This is a brand new day. It's time to let all of that go. Page of Pentacles, right? It's something completely new. You're learning something completely new here. Wow, check that out. Healing and Empress. Um, this person is a, I'm just gonna put this over here because it just jumped out. This person is um, a life partner potential and a very, this is a very healing energy. So even though you don't um, do a lot of it and don't, don't talk about your ex, don't bitch, don't moan, don't complain, don't kvetch, don't do anything like that. Um, you see it clearly enough, okay? You know, and you know the patterns. You know all that. There's no reason to keep going over it and over it and over it. This is about having youthful exuberance. Message to you, to this other person. I do feel like this is another person. Uh, Seven of Wands. So this person has um, a lot of people after them, or they have a lot of choices. They're good at boundaries, okay? Or they need to get better at boundaries because the fool is not good at boundaries, okay? The fool is just like, I'm just jumping in. But this person uh, with the magician here is learn <laughs> learning more about boundaries, okay? I definitely see Sag, Aquarius, Taurus, and Libra here. What is subconscious for you? Queen of Cups. I just want to really be deeply in love, deeply connected with somebody. And, you know, you could have had some bad experiences. Like I said, you, it, that is really, you're needing to let that go right now. You really are. Okay. Justice. There's Libra again. This person is very balanced and very, um, very single. There isn't a third party issue here. Okay, that may, um, if, if you have had that party or that, uh, that um, t uh, what am I trying to say? If you've had that, I want to say plan party. No, 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 no. If you've had that pattern, thank you. Oh my God. Pattern in the past. Boy, talk about letting it go. It's got to go. Even the words got to go. No more of that pattern. Okay, no more of that pattern. Um, this person, because of their youthful exuberance, right, walking toward you, even though, right, this is like free of any kind of past encumbrances, free of any kind of anything that might be holding them back. The universe is still saying to them, okay, look, but that's beautiful, but you need to get better at boundaries. 
you need to get better at balance and you need to behave like the magician that you are instead of just you know like throwing caution to the wind you, it's it's an informed enthusiasm right this person has um knows they know it's not like oh i'm just throwing caution to the wind and jumping forward um your thing here though is more about uh protecting the heart and all of that because of past experiences but what's needed here is more self-nurturing i feel like you're very cold to yourself here and the Queen of Cups, you might be requiring someone else to do that kind of nurturing, but it's really up to you to do it for yourself. That's something you need to learn. These are all about learning new things. Page of Pentacles, ready for the fresh new energy of um, doing this. I feel like, of doing this relationship. I feel like this is somebody you meet online, and it is, again, it is a brand new person. A brand new person. Very healing, potential life partner here. This person's very powerful. Sexy, it's fun, it's joyful, it's energetic. You've also got to let go of this King of Swords-ness, like this, um, uh, this being very, I don't believe in love anymore kind of thing. It's hurt me too much. That whole kind of stuff that... It only works, you know, in for really amazing songwriters, okay? The moody self-absorption thing does not work, and it's not going to work here either. It's got to be let go of, okay? Um, that I was hurt so much, I was hurt so bad. It's time to let that go, and don't, again, don't talk about your ex. It doesn't mean that you have to completely leave the lessons behind, but it does mean you need to lose the self-absorption with the negativity around that that's got to go okay so i do see aquarius taurus libra sag all right i will look at those in the extended i will keep going with this reading we'll see where we go we'll look at those signs we'll do blocks and uh more message more messages to you from your higher self okay link is below group b i will see you over there. hey group c how are you not last not least Nothing like that. Saving the best for last. How about we say that? Okay, let's see where we go here. Group C, messages for you. This can be about love or money, career, whatever shows up. I am going to use the um, the spread that has to do with you and an other. And this feels to me like the reason I'm doing this is because you can be in the mindset of everything is separate. Things are separate, but it's really always about you. So if you're watching a reading and I'm talking about love relationships, it can be about integrating that energy for yourself, okay? Uh, it can also be about um, messages that need to be heard, um, and maybe you can hear them better when you're hearing them about another person or, you, or what you believe to be about another person, okay? That has proven itself to be true. Um, so just, you know, take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't, as always, okay? So, Group C, where are we going here? Where are we going? Answering the call. Choosing your path. Fast vistas. Expand your horizons. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You're choosing the path, heading forward. The time is now. This is about really reaching out to a broader world. I did a, I think it was the morning message on Friday this week was about um, realizing that you can be very connected to the whole world from your dining room table, from your kitchen table, which I truly am. And there is something about that. So I feel like your mission, if this is about, if this reading is about a mission for you, it is about incorporating your path and um, for yourself understanding that Things can be seemingly contradictory, but they are the same. Meaning, I used to fly around the world, fly around the country in my jobs, but I'm more connected to the world from this kitchen table than I ever have been, okay? Um, it's just a different expression. There's, there's something uh, kind of like, um, 
I feel like this reading is going to contradict some things for you. And it's going to be a mind uh, backflip for you to figure out how to use this information for yourself because this is part of your calling. All right. So the universe is trying to open up the door for you, trying to, you know, show you the path. But there might be some things that are being resisted because they're not fitting your old paradigms of how you do things. And that could be the thing that's blocking you from your calling. Okay. One card for you, please. Messages for those watching, please. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, might need to be taking some better care of yourself, more nurturing, taking care of your money. All right. This is another person, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, if this is another person, um, they may be like a shopaholic. Seven of Pentacles there. You see, like she's got all the shopping bags. And that Ace of Pentacles co coming at her, like, <clears throat> watch out. Something's coming. So you might need to be... Um, in order to expand your horizons, you may need to let go of an old paradigm of what you think that means for you, right? You might need to let go of that. This is very 3D right now. Tower. That could be you or another person here. Okay, you or another person. There's some kind of... Um, Either love at first sight or some kind of insight, some kind of big insight right now. Moon. Hold on, one more. I'm going to get one more and then, then I'm going to talk about this. Tower. Wow. Healing. So the cards that are on the end here, this is how you're seeing this relationship. This is how they're seeing this relationship. If this is all you, this is about your relationship to money and your experience of living. There's a healing. There's some, uh, uh, the moon is about fear. The star is about healing and about, um, hope. Okay. And I feel like there's some old ideas about money, old ideas about, um, career, life, expression, how you reach out to the world just from your kitchen table, right? There's some contradictory things here. Like you, you think that to be happy, you need to be rich. And that is not true. That is not true. There might be some kind of burden presented to you by being wealthy or by being or by having all that. And it may not be something that is necessary. You might have this epiphany. Okay. So I'm going to get a clarifier for the moon, please. Could be afraid, right? Oh, there's Cancerian energy. You could be afraid about moving forward in your own best interest. Because if you ever take good care of yourself and move forward in your own best interest, you're feeling like that might be selfish and it will get blown up. Okay, this is about healing your relationship to money, healing your, what it means to have money or what it means to have stability. Clarifying the star. Queen of Wands. You are your own. If this is another person, this is a very healing and passionate connection. This person has been waiting a long time for you to figure this out. Okay, it could be a fire sign, could be an Aquarius. Person's been waiting for you, earth sign, water sign here, to figure it out. Okay, and this is, a tower is coming. I, I feel like you are not paying attention that this person is on your path. This person is a, uh, potentially a life partner, soulmate, something along those lines, they've been waiting for a long time. It just feels like it's, the reading is just flipped in a new direction here. Okay, you see what I mean about contra uh, controversy? No, um, contradictory. What starts out as you being on your path, I feel like it gets you into a place of not seeing when other people are coming toward you. There's somebody coming toward you. Clarify the tower.
Eight of Cups. Oh, good. Look at that. Walking in this direction. You were walking in the wrong direction. Fear is the wrong direction. Being afraid, being um, vulnerable, that is the wrong direction here. You've created an illusion out of money or an illusion out of ego, something like that, that you want to like just keep going. But there's this person. This person is needing to be... Um, you need to pay attention to this person. There's going to be a tower so that you do. Message to you from your higher self. Ace of Wands. Wow, I got that in group B too. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. You could feel like you're all set. Like you're taking care of yourself. Page of Cups, message to this person. Um, a new beginning happening. There is a new beginning happening. Whoever's been waiting... I feel like this person here, this could be you, if it, I, I have been saying this is you, if you feel like you're the other one, that's perfectly fine too, okay? Um, this person could be an earth sign, Cancer Pisces. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer Pisces. This person can also have been mixed up with a Cancer or a Pisces and it's caused them to be static. This new person is an Aquarius or a fire sign who's been waiting a long time. Something happens, the tower happens, and it causes a change of direction by this Queen of Pentacles. All right, subconsciously, lovers. Wow. Subconsciously for the Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Look at this movement in this direction. Um, this person, if this is you, you have to make a choice. The universe is going to make it for you. If you don't make a choice, if you're, if you're living in illusion, if you're living in an illusion and you're thinking, well, let's just keep moving forward. It's going to stop you from moving forward. There's a decision to be made. This person is uh, where you need to go. This person is on your path. You've got to choose your path by standing still queen of pentacles and moon in this life, you're going to get blown up, okay? So this other person, Aquarius, Gem, uh, Aquarius, Sag, Aries, Leo, is on the path, and it's the, the universe is diverting you. It seems like you were walking in the other direction. And the universe is like, nope, 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 this person is on the path. Turn around. Turn around, okay? So I'm going to continue on with this reading. I will look at this person. Um, the, the signs seem to be very specific here. All right, I'll look in, in depth in, each, in this person and then also about this Cancer and Pisces here. Gemini, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. This, this decision needs to be made. There's, there's disillusionment here and stagnation. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep going, Group C. The link is below if you'd like to continue on with me. I'll see you over there.